Hi everyone, it's Karen Tamir here again for Flying Unicorn and I have a mixed media canvas I will be creating today using lots of uh, Finna Bear products and, and medals from the Flying Unicorn adornments and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I'm just going to show it to you first and then I'm going to turn the camera around. This is the canvas we're going to be creating. I think you've seen it online. Um, but you will see more or less step by step how I create it. Okay, let me turn the camera around and we'll start. Let me see my legs there. Okay. So I have to make this fold this way somehow. Okay, oh, oops, sorry. Okay, so what I did is I used an 8 by 10 canvas. This is just a, it's ugly yeah, in the background. This is just a regular canvas that I got. Oops, sorry guys, I see you see a light here. I don't know if you realize that. Um, um, 8 by 10 canvas that I used, I bought it at the dollar store, literally. And I just prepped it, I prepped it with gesso. I, I inverted it and because I want to create kind of a shadow box inside and I just primed it with black gesso. I just try, was trying to save myself a drying step just because I have a feeling I might not end today on an hour. So bear with me because there's a lot of drying time involved with mixed media. So I'm hoping that it will happen the way I plan. So as I said, I am... Oh, hi, Robbie. Hi. Who else did I see here? Oh, I know. Deb, Debbie? Okay, sorry. I'm, you know what? I shouldn't look. Oh, and Shauna. Okay, so I am going to show you my first step that I'm going to do, and I'm going to let it dry. I used, after I primed it with gesso, and then I just literally just painted it, I'm going to use texture paste, black sand. It's uh, it's called Art Extravagance from Prima, Finabear Texture Paste Black Sand. Okay, and I'm going to use a spatula now. If you see the consistency of it, it basically looks white. However, when it dries, the white goes away and it becomes clear and just the, the basically this black sand stays. And when you when you use it, actually it's very coarse and it almost feels as if you're um, when you're applying it with a spatula, it feels like you know like nails scratching on a board, but um, you get used to the sound after a while. Now I'm applying it scarcely meaning I'm applying it in some places and leaving some places empty I don't want it all over um, I just want it in certain areas and leaving some of the black background behind I kind of tried to hide the staples from the from the canvas as it is it's a really cheap canvas but since I'm not using it for painting it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter that it's cheap because you don't really need the quality when you're covering most of it. Um, so I'm basically just applying it with a spatula and there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing really. It's very easy. Again I'm just trying to cover the spots here. And it sticks. This is why I was worried. I was going to prep this in advance, but I didn't want to have three canvases with the same background. So I decided to just take my chances and see how it goes. Even if it's a little bit wet, I'll just deal with it. That does go. So you see how it looks white? Well, that disappear, disappears, I mean. And... Uh, Okay, so I kind of cover the top. I know it's very random. Then I'm going to do the, um, the, the edges too, okay? So the same idea, a little bit. Sorry, I don't know if I'm, if I'm in this spot. What it does, it's just giving the canvas texture all over. Oh, Robbie, I'm just reading. Okay, so a lot of people have a hard time with this te sand texture sand piece. You know what? I'm addicted to it. Not only this one, there's a graphite one, which is less coarse, 
Um, I've used it so much that I had to reorder it a few times because I ran out. So, I mean, it looks really cool. And you can actually, um, you can cover even like chipboard with it. You know, it sounds, it sounds as if I'm, is it giving you shivers? Oh, I'm off focus. Sorry about that. Is it giving you shivers when I'm doing this? <laughs> it's kind of, uh, oops. Um, it also comes in white. Did I already put through? Okay, now I have to be careful, right? Because I have to, um, it also, this same black uh, texture, it comes in white sand, and I've also used it in this canvas, and I'll show you in a minute what I did. I know you cannot, oh yeah, you can see. Okay, sure. Thank you. Yes, I'll send mine to Ken to have her get it. <laughs> okay, you're funny, guys. Ken, read. I hate when I cannot read the chat. I can't do it at the same time. But I'm focusing, focusing on other things. Okay. Almost done, and then I'm going to let it dry while I do another step. I mean, this is a really easy step. Oh, you guys are like, oh, I got it, Robbie. I thought you meant because you don't want to use this. You don't have to use a spatula. I really like the sound of the, of the, of the sand, like the gritty sand. I think it's cool. It reminds me kind of of the beach. But you don't... I don't mind. You can send it to me, Robbie, and I'll do it for you. No, no problem. Okay, and now I'm just going to add a little bit inside of the edges. And by mistake, the first time I did it, I did the inside first, and that was a mistake because then I couldn't fold it inside, and it was a pain in the neck to do it. So... Now I know to do the outside first. I think I want to use my fingers for this because it's not. Okay, is it better with my fingers? You guys are not suffering as much. Yeah, next week, Shauna is having her debut show. I'm really excited to see it. I also want to, I don't know if you guys saw on Facebook that I've announced um, a new Ustream channel that I that I started with a couple girls that I know. And um, my show, it is another show next Monday, May 11th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys can join me. Plus, I don't know, somehow this is like the busiest week of Ustream for me. And I'm also on on Live with Prima on next Tuesday. So I said, sorry, Monday I'll be on at 2 o'clock, and then I'll be on on Tuesday with Live with Prima. I'm just going to clean my palette. Okay, so this is how it is. I, I'm done, basically. My accent. Okay, I have a mixed accent. Paula's asking. Sorry, I'm looking while I'm drying. Um, I grew up in Venezuela, so I speak Spanish. So I have kind of like a Spanish accent, but I also have... An Israeli accent. I grew up speaking Hebrew my whole life, so I kind of have a mix accent. I just want to show you um, how it actually looks once it dries. Obviously, without the color, but I added some alcohol inks here, so you'll see. But this is how it looks when it dries, so you don't see the white stuff. Um, okay, now I'm going to put this on the side to basically dry. And I'm going to start another step. Now for this second step, I used a foam heart. Okay. Um, this was before I had the relics and artifacts that are resin, which are really amazing from, from Sandra Everson and from Prima. And um, what I did is I mixed some texture paste white sand with some, oh, where is it? Here we go. With some mica powder, 
which is a lipstick mica powder. It's kind of like a reddish pink and some bronze. I wanted to try to get it as red as possible. The closest I made it is to brick color. And I actually mixed it inside a cream container. This was an empty container that I had from before. And I've pre-mixed it already. I don't know if I have enough, but I will know soon enough once I start applying it. This is from the other application. And, um, um, and that and that I'm going to apply on the heart first okay so I'm going to take some again with my spatula now I know this is just a foam don't get scared from it I might have to make some more so so it turned out like kind of a brickish color maybe I should have made some more before applying it because now I won't have enough for the wings Um, let's see. And I'm just making the heart, which will be the center of our of my canvas. Oops. And uh, when you mix it with the mica, it's not as coarse. It's not as coarse, I think, as the black one. The black sand is the is the the roughest one, the coarsest one out of all. The graphite one, Jennifer, you're gonna love. It's really my favorite now. Well, I know they're all my favorite. I just really have a hard time picking, but I'm just saying. Okay, a little bit more. Oops. And again, you don't have to cover all of it. Most of it, you're not gonna be seeing in the background. And this was fun because what I could is I was able to stick some things in it. Oops. Um, okay, I'm putting it to dry and I'm going to oh, let me put these back. So again I just mixed the white sand texture paste with some with some mica. I mixed the two colors of the mica to create it. Now I'm going to use the same paste and I'm going to create the wings. I use this stencil by Prima. It's from Jamie. Um, Jamie Doherty. I think I'm saying her name right. I'm not sure. And I use this wings over here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And what I did is I stenciled it on top of um, watercolor paper because it's thick. So it will give me um, a nice thick wing that is pretty stiff so I can, you guys, oh yeah, you see, you can hear the roughness now. Um, um, so I, want, I wanted it to be very thick so it will stay put when I put it on the canvas. Am I giving you more shivers? Scribble with the paste. Okay, there we go. Now look how pretty that looks. Now I have to clean it up and turn it around. So wait, bear with me. Okay. Okay, hold on. I need to clean it because I need to put it against the other side. It's actually uh, red mica. It's called lipstick, and it was it was mixed with the bronze um, bronze uh, mica from Finnebear. The two of them were mixed together with the white sand to create um, to create this brick color. Shimmers actually makes a very similar color. Actually, it's called brick. It's pretty similar. So if you don't feel like mixing all these things together. Just go to the shimmers blog. I think they still, I still have the textures paste of that if you don't feel like. And maybe Alda even has it in her store. I'm not sure. Okay. So now I'm going to do this and I'm going to use it for the other side. I just don't want it to go over, so I'm going to cut it, do it this way. And I guess I don't have to worry about it because I'm cutting it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And 
really the hard enough. I really thought I was gonna run through. What stencil this is? Oh, the stencil. This is um, the wing stencil from Prima. Um, it's called. It's by Jamie. Jamie Doherty. She she created it. She designed it. Okay. So here is the other one, and I'm gonna let it stand, sit here for a few minutes. Okay, just you know what? I have an extra, a little bit of egg. Oh, oh, look what happened. I have a little bit of extra, um, extra paste that I didn't think I would have. So I'm going to just kind of add it to the bottom of my heart. So then um, you really cannot, won't be able to see the white. I love, whenever I'm done with a stencil and I use a texture paste, unfortunately you have to use a lot of, texture paste in order to cover an area. So what I do is I literally scrape it off. Um, another thing that I've been doing is saving containers. I used save this container from my from a cream that I finished, like a scrub or a cream, I don't remember what it was. And uh, okay, there we go. And I also um, I'm gonna clean my stencil for a second. Save containers from from uh, like takeout. I'll show you for example. Oops, never mind. Okay, so like this is a takeout container and has a little lid, a plastic lid. I don't know if you ever use it. You get like sometimes I order salads from a store and they give me like the dressing inside or and you do takeout from a restaurant and they'll give it to you in small containers. So I've saved those containers so I can mix my own texture and stuff in it. Did my camera move? It looks like my camera has moved. Okay, hold on. Anyways, okay. So now that my stencil is clean, I don't want the texture, the thick texture, texture paste to stay on it. And perfect, okay. Good. You guys are ready for the next step? Okay. So, while things are drying, I'm going to move the heart. I'm just going to take this one a little bit. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a quicker dry with my... And I can read, I can actually read The chat a little bit. Hi, Jean. Robbie, I see Jan Jennifer. I already said hi to Paula and Cynthia and Janelle. Um, who else is here that I didn't say hi to? This one will probably not completely dry, and that's okay. I'm literally going to glue on top of there, even if it's wet. I'm the queen of a mixed media. Well, thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate that. I do love mixed media. Oh, hi, Barbara. I do love mixed media. I just love experimenting. That's basically more mainly the reason why I like it. I just want to give it a quick, quick dry so we're not, at least in the areas where I'm gonna glue the stuff. I always forget Costume Diva's name. <laughs> I, I, every time, I think you've told me a million times. And so, oh, Sarah is here too. I think you've told me. And Nana Beth, I guess it's Beth. Yeah. Okay, so just a little bit more. Let me put some things away. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, one thing I am, I, whether. I love mixed media or not, I am very impatient and I hate waiting. Okay, Nana Beth. Beth. It's the wing stencil from Jamie Doherty from Prima. Winged. Yes. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Robbie, for adding it. <laughs> okay. 
Is Shauna, are you excited for next week? I'm excited Shauna is on. I can't wait to see what she does. Okay. So I'm going to have a sip of water and then I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so the next thing I did is I started adding metal pieces. Some of them are from thin, most of them are from, from Flying Unicorn. I'll just show you all the ones I collected. Don't ask me for names or anything like that. But I'm just saying. And I just start playing around, really. There's no, you don't have to put exactly the same pieces that I did. Oh, I just dropped it. Oh, I have some tin holes ones, too. Yeah. And I should move this hard so it doesn't get in the way. Okay. So, look how many yummy pieces I have. Oh, you can't even see them. I'm telling you all these things, and I, you can't even see what I'm talking about. Okay. This is gross that you guys are seeing all my, there. There we go. Is that better? Okay, so here's all these fun pieces that I collected. This is a butterfly that goes on the heart, so I'm going to put it aside. And here is this heart. I'll put this, and I don't have another red heart like the other one. And I want to show you this really cool piece that I picked up. This is um, part of a clock, or a watch, an old watch. When I was at CHA, there was this lady who was selling them, and they're so cool. I just I bought a few of them it was just really neat and she sold all different types of um, watches and stuff uh, watch parts and things like that this one I kind of want to put it here um, well I think I actually put it at the top and it has these little legs so it has got to fit in there okay so let me find let me figure out what I want to do all right I have too many things so, this is the this is the little circle. I think it's from Flying Unicorn. It, I could not be. I don't know. I collect medals everywhere, and then I don't know where I get them from. Some of them I know. This one is just put in the center. You will see why. It actually holds the heart really well together. And then I started playing with the different. Um, um, I'll start. I started playing with the different medals just to make it fun. So, first I placed them. And then I decide where I want them. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. And again, you can play around with them and see how you like them. I like this one. I love this one from Finn that says create, live, love. I wonder if I can get part of the wording. Which one? Create, live, love. Live, love or create and live. Which one? Create, live. Perfect. And what else could I add over here? I could add this one. And let's see, I found a K. I thought it was cool. I could put a K somewhere. Um, what else? And this doesn't really matter what the colors, you can always color them a different color. No, I don't like that. Okay, so this clock is good. Kind of goes with the theme. I need some more stuff for the top. Let's see. What else could I put? Um, this hanging thing. I like that. And this one can go over here. You guys like? Okay, let's see. What else can I put? Oh, I think this little lock looks really cute. I could put it in, in here. Yeah. And then the other one, kind of sticking that I like this downward movement of the. Hmm. Oh, I like have this little clock over here too. The funny thing is that I start talking to myself. But I guess you guys don't mind. Oh, I like this butterfly. I think I should put this one here. And I'll cover everything there. And this here. And then the other butterfly. Kind of here and what I did with this butterfly is I put a little key in the middle of it. I think it's so cute. Uh, what else? Am I missing something? I can put this key over. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna switch this one. This for now. 
Okay, I'm going to put that here. Mm. What else? I'm missing some other stuff. Mm. Hmm. Okay, I think this is good. What do you guys think? Well, maybe I can add some more. Oh, this one. No, don't like. It. Never mind. Change my mind. Where did? I'm gonna put this front or that front. See, I talk to myself. Okay. Oh wait, I was gonna add some more stuff in here. Let's see, these are all the you know there ones. No, I think I'm good. I have like the only one I need is this big one. I think this is pretty good. I don't want to overload it. Um, so I'm going to leave it. Oh, where is, oh, there it is. Sorry. Okay. Whole table just shook. I really hope the camera didn't move. No, it didn't. Okay, good. So the other thing I used is, you see these? Okay, so I had one and they're called clock keys. I had one from before. I don't know from where I collected it. And I put it at the top of the heart, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to pick one. This is Tim Holtz, Ideology. And I'm going to pick, I had, I don't know if you can see here. I had from, I think it's from Flying Unicorn, this like really cool chain thing. And I tried to look in all the store, and I just couldn't find another one. So basically, I'm going to be making my own. Um, using Using these. And I forgot this is part of the the butterfly. So it's as if it's flying. The good thing about these pastes is that even though it's a little bit still a little bit wet, it actually stays put and it can dry with it. Okay, which color? And I'm gonna go with the Oh, I hope that more are coming in, Shauna. I've been I've been wondering why they're so low, but I didn't dare ask. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna get out is this. This is what I use, like kind of like a swirl at the bottom of the okay, at the bottom of the of the heart. I just thought it looked really cool. Okay, I'm going to dry these wings a little bit more so I could cut them out. Oh, sorry, before I do that, one thing that I did, I know I'm working double sided here, is that I sprayed the back. And I sprayed it with gold foil. Color Bloom from Prima. And just to. Ah, of course, when I try to spray it, it doesn't work. What's wrong with my sprayer now? <sighs> Don't you hate when that happens? Now it's spraying on me. Okay. I apologize, but I guess it's giving me time to dry. It's spraying in the air. Why is it spraying in the air? Okay, I'm going to have to do it by brush because it's not allowing me to do it. I don't know why. It's being difficult. Ah, I hate when this happens. painting it. I just wanted to have some color in the back of the, of the wing. Okay, there we go. Well, that solves its silliness that it wouldn't let me spray. Whenever I 
whenever whenever there's a live show, these things always happen. Or maybe the things happen and you don't notice because when it's not live, you don't care. This is not. You'll just continue trying. But I'm trying to. Um, I'm gonna dry it up. Oh, hi, Kathy. Okay. Well, you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna add this part here so everything kind of dries at the same time. I need it dry. Oh, hi, Lainey, Barbara, good to see you there, Julie. Again, so for those of you who are we're not here, Shauna is on next week. She is uh, has her own debut show. And I'm also on next week in my new uh, Ustream channel, Artist Live. And I'm on on Monday night at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then on Tuesday, I'm on at at Prima, live with Prima, um, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just so you know, in case you want to see some more projects, I'm making a layout in another one of these canvases. Okay, let's see. Yay, it's basically dried. Okay, I'm going to cut the wings. And um, oops. Oh, I kind of dry for me for a second. And bear with me. It's really thick paper. It's um watercolor paper. And what's nice about it is that um, you can. It's stiff enough that you can actually use um as a prop and you don't have to like back it up with anything. That's why I like to using this paper. Okay. Oops. So now I'm going to glue everything together. I just wanted to have some stuff ready. What do you guys think? Am I gonna am I gonna make it in an hour, or you're gonna stay with me for longer? I'm sorry, I'm cutting off screen. I didn't mean to. So while I'm cutting, I want to tell you guys because we talked about this before. Uh, we went to meet the puppy this Wednesday. I mean this Sunday, this past Sunday. I don't know Sunday, Saturday. Oh my god, he's so cute. It's not even funny. I know all of you have had dogs. A lot of you have had dogs before. But um, uh, we've never had a dog before. So I'm not sure how we're going to be doing it. It's good I don't have any live shows in the next few weeks except for the next week. Just because I might be tiring tired from training <laughs> I don't know anybody wants to give me hints but no don't do it on the chat because I cannot watch you guys while you're while you're talking but, um, so I'm really we're really excited my daughter's really excited and uh, okay. oh hi Carrie well, is there somebody I didn't say hi to? I just can't always see the chat. All right. Oh, no. I said all right, and then I, there's a whole wing here, area that I didn't put. Originally, I wanted to put, I made this project a really long time ago. I think in March or something. And I wanted to put the wings sticking up out of the canvas, but I changed my mind about it. Um, okay, so here's the wings. The last thing I did with the wings is that I gave them a little bit of a um, black edge with some of, with a, 
with a chalk edger. This is the black coal. It's really frayed, but I still use it even though it comes apart. Okay, so just give it a little bit of a, an extra edge, black edge. And it's odd that you know it took me forever to when I created the project, it took me forever to put all these uh, pieces together, all the metal pieces together, like to combine them. And now I just did it in two seconds, and I really like the way they look. I don't know when you do a project for the second time, it's usually so much faster. Okay, now I'm going to use the glue. I'm using Fabri-Tac. It works just as well on metal, and I love it. And I'm just going to glue them all these, all these pieces together. Okay, now hopefully they won't fall apart. Uh, they will. Okay. I just love this steampunk kind of look. Uh, let's see. Give me like a kind of an inspiration. Okay, no. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't realize I was off 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 camera. My camera is off today. I don't know why. I'm creating a similar canvas next week on Live with Prima. I'm using graphite texture paste. For that one, instead of the black texture paste, black sand texture paste, it's quite different to work with it. And I do, I do, I'm gonna add a lot of uh, beads to that one, as opposed to this one, because the texture is so uh, thick that it creates a bead-like texture. So you don't really need to add beads. Next week, when I'm the one I'm creating, I'm actually covering it with. Lots and lots of beads. Okay, I like, I love these. Okay, okay. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm going to add the other side for my ones. Let me glue this butterfly. And this, this is like, it's as if the butterfly is flying. I'm just adding this. Is, these are all like these, these, most of these are flying unicorn adornments. So there's the key in the middle. All right, I'm just gonna turn this around so I or sideways a little bit so I can glue it without trying to move it so much. Oh, this one is already glued. See, some of it, like the texture paste. Uh, it works just like a almost like a glue, and you can use it to glue your stuff. Yeah. I really love these claw parts. It's also some flying unicorn. Yeah, not big ram on reason why I'm gluing things where I'm gluing them. 
I just like the way they look. Oh, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, so basically this is the layout on the outside. I need to wipe my hands. Again, my camera has moved. I apologize for that. Okay, so. Oh, you guys can hear me? Oh, I'm so sorry. Can you hear me now? I don't know if I did anything wrong. I must have just touched the camera. Please let me know if I'm... Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to wait until to see if you guys can hear me. Better? Okay. I wonder if the volume, if I can increase the volume here. How about now? Okay. Anyways, hopefully let me know. I apologize. Yeah, I think so. I start mumbling when I concentrate on my work. You're right. And I, sh <laughs> I will start talking louder. Okay. So this is the base of my heart. Haha, <laughs> That sounds funny. Actually, it's already dry. Can you guys believe? Look, I'm touching it. It's basically already dry. And I am going to place it here. I just want to kind of gauge to see where it's supposed to be. And I think it's there. It's correct. And the heart, the, the wings kind of go underneath too. One second. Once I know where they go, I will... Ah. Okay, so basically, yeah, that's correct. All right, so I'm going to take the heart and I'm going to make a hole at the top. What I like working with foam is that you you can actually make a hole of it, in it. And I'm going to add some glue in it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, you're right. I am talking under my breath but maybe it is the sound I'm not really sure I'm gonna try to okay I'm going to put some glue in the hole and then I'm gonna stick the clock part inside this one is much smaller than the one that I used before unfortunately but it still gets you this gives you the same idea I don't know the one I had was bigger okay. this is what it is you see so I stuck that in and then I'm gonna stick one at the bottom. Now I see how it gets heavy. It got very heavy at the top. And um, hold on, I'm gonna use one of these. And I'm. Hi, Delina. I sorry, I can't open this packaging. Okay, so I'm going to use one of the longer ones. I think this one I like. Hold on, I'll show you which ones I which one I picked. I'm trying to see which one will work better. The one with the beads. Oh wow, they're so difficult. Oh no, here. To get out. Of course I'm trying to do this quickly. Why is it so fuzzy? My camera is very fuzzy and I don't know why. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get this. Okay, this is the one I want to use. But I don't know why everything is so out of focus. Is it, is it you? Did you guys see it fuzzy or is it, is it just me? I can't figure out why it's so fuzzy.
Okay, not sure. Okay, the other thing I want to do is I want to make a hole at the bottom and stick. This nice pendant there. Again, I'm again I'm adding the glue. I mean, you're right. I am talking low when I'm when I'm concentrating. It is a bit fuzzy, but I can't figure out why. I think it got better now, right? Now it looks fine. I think it's when I had the heart there. It kind of took it out of focus. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to add the butterfly on it. I'm gonna glue the butterfly onto the heart and then everything else. Now it's better. I think the heart, I don't know why it was making everything so fuzzy. Because the heart always makes things fuzzy, right? Fuzzy feeling in your heart. Isn't that what you say? Okay. So I'm going to stick this on and then I'm going to stick the heart. And I think the red heart that I had in the other one was also from Flying Unicorn, but it's an old one from an old kit. Okay, now I'm going to glue these wings and um, Hold on, guys, wait. I'm only gluing the bottom because I'm going to prop them up a little bit. I stuck a Janelle, I stuck in the heart. I stuck I made two holes, one at the top, one at the bottom. The top I put a clock, uh, it's called a clock key from Tim Holtz and I'll show it to you in a second and at the bottom I put a Finnebear uh, what are they called it's a mechanical pendant I just picked one of them okay there we go and I'm going what I did I want to do is I want to put a little piece of foam tape uh, behind the Behind the wings to just prop them up a little bit. And I'm going to put glue on it because otherwise it will probably not stay. That's funny, Paula. Yeah, I don't know where the dangle, the other dangle came from, but I'm sure it's from something from Flying Unicorn. I just can't remember where. Must have, must have been from a while back. And it's a really nice one. I'll show you the other one just so you know. So, okay, then this is the one that is holding me. Now I'm going to glue this one. This is, this was really useful just because I was able to put the heart in place and it wouldn't move once it was on it because it got really heavy once I put the, the key inside. Sorry, one more thing. Okay. Okay, the dangle is kind of falling, but when you when you stand it up, it actually looks really nice. Oh, I should have glued this first. I'm gonna glue the last. Yeah, Janelle, I just used an eight by ten um, eight by ten sh uh, canvas, and I inverted it and covered it in black. And um, 
Our dollar store sells canvases, so literally this is from the dollar store. I mean, it didn't cost me a dollar, I think it cost like two dollars, but it's still worth it for what I'm doing. Ah, I don't want this. Okay, I hate when they glue, even though it's see-through, I don't want it seen. You see like sticky stuff on. Okay, so you see there is the thing, not done yet. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually finishing on time. I think this thing is making it go fuzzy. This It's reflecting it. Okay. The last thing I did is I used some alcohol inks to, um, to color in some of the, some of the um, metals and also some of the, uh, the black uh, sand. And I use gold and copper. I'm gonna just shake, shake them. Yeah, you could use either black, um, black gesso. I use black gesso. I think it was golden. I ran out of my Prima one, so I use that one. But you can use any of them. Any black gesso or black paint. It's almost the same thing. Okay, I'm just basically gonna add some highlights. I really like how. Um, it colors everything. And I'll take a wipe so in a second. Just don't need it so strongly. So using the wipe, I let it seep in through the and why I'm doing this is because I wanted to kind of match the rest of the canvas. The rest of the um, design because I have so much gold on it, right? So it kind of helps me um, match it all, basically tie it all in. So the gold or bronze of the, of the metals, the gold of the metals, the bronze of the metals um, kind of ties it all in with the, with the golden alcohol ink. You see it added like some extra shaded areas of, of gold. And then I'm going to add some of the copper one too. Gosh, I really can't believe it that I'm actually done on time. I totally thought this was going to take much longer. I mean the, the, dry, the sand is not fully dried, but it will dry overnight, so you can just let it dry overnight. And we can put some extra. Oh, I like that. I love alcoholing. I never, I don't use it that often, but I love including it in the mix in the mixed media. You can actually, it's a really good colorant, and you use it really well. You can use it really. You can use it really well in all different types of mixed media projects. And it adds a lot of uh, beautiful effects to the to the to the paste or to the texture, and like a lot of texture to it. Hold on. Okay, so well, I actually think I'm done. I can't believe it. Oh, maybe I, you know what I want to do? I'm gonna color this heart in a little bit of a copper tone to kind of match it match it to the or red one. Um. So this is it. Oh, I, I, if you want, uh, sorry, I forgot. You can also add some gold to the sides. I mean, I could do this later, but. So this is, um, you want to match the, um, the gold, col gold colors to, the, to the, all the sides. That makes it look alcohol. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, alcohol drink. That's what I need right now. No, I'm just joking. I don't drink. I actually don't. I have a glass of wine here and there. But so in, if you see like the, the paste is drying in some areas, you can also, the white is kind of disappearing. So... So what I do is I just put a little bit of ink in the area where it's stuck. 
where in the area where where the sand is and then I just press it and voila what do you guys think okay hope you learned something I feel like I feel like so many shows and then you guys might not learn anything from my show hopefully you did um, I don't even drink coffee anymore. I'm off coffee. I do drink some loose leaf tea. I'm obsessed with it right now. Um, from David's Tea. Carrie might know what that is. It's a Canadian brand. And it's really good. But other than that, I'm not even drink. I do love water. And I'm not even with pop. I, I'm not pop. Sorry, you guys call it soda. I don't drink soda either. I'm really trying to like cut all the I don't want to say bad words. C R A P out of my diet. Um, how do you call How do you call the soda in the in in England? Here we call it pop, but you but in the United States they call it soda. Okay, so this is it. This is my canvas. It's I didn't add actually, you know what I did in the other one, I actually added um, a title, but I think in this one I just don't want it. The other one is called Bliss, and I'll show it to you. Oh my goodness! I just can't believe the mistake that I made and I apologize. I didn't even realize. I can't believe it. Well, do you notice the difference between the two? I feel so bad. After all that, and I forgot something. Why do you guys notice? I don't know if you can tell between the two. I had a beads on this one, and now it's all dry, and I have no beads. I added red beads and orange beads. I am so sad that I forgot. I can't believe it. See, they look different. Oh, I'm upset that I forgot the beads. What am I going to do? I don't feel like I can't. I don't know if I can add them. I guess I could add them with some matte gel. But I'm not going to add them right now because basically I'm done. Um, they're a little bit different. I do like this key much better because it's bigger. But I didn't have another one. This one, I don't even know where I got that one. I bought it at, a, at a, some sale. So... That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope that, oh, I'm so upset that I forgot the, the beads on it. Okay, if you ever do this, make sure you add the beads. These ones have been, I'll show you in a close-up of this one. You see how it has the beads here? Oh, too bad. Okay, well, I'm just going to show you a close-up of this one, and then that's it. You see, it's not dry yet, but it's almost there. And this is it. Thank you so much. Hold on, let me turn this around. Thank you so much for coming and seeing us me at Flying Unicorn. Um, stay tuned next Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to see Shauna and her debut. 10% um, off all items in the store that were used in my use stream today and if you want to join me next monday and tuesday at 2 p.m eastern standard time i'm doing two separate shows one of them is with my new use stream channel uh, artist live and live with prima on tuesday thank you so much for everything and have a good night